Hi friends, this is George Bettinger. I have a great treat for you today. I am going to be chatting right here and now with a true American hero, a gentleman who was awarded the Medal of Bravery for his service. And in addition to that, he spent his entire life making people laugh. This gentleman has worked with the Beatles, was friends with Frank Sinatra, Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton. He worked with Nat King Cole, and the list goes on and on. I'm very proud and honored to be presenting an exclusive interview with the one and only Marty Allen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is George Bettinger, and I'm talking with somebody who's a hero of mine from the time I was growing up in New York, Marty Allen, who is just a brilliant man, a brilliant comedian, and part of a team that I remember so well, Allen and Rossi. Marty, oh. Marty, welcome to the show, and, and tell me a little bit of how did Allen and Rossi get started? Well, actually, we were brought together by uh, Nat King Cole. I was working with Nat, and uh, in those days, the singers were the big deal. Yes. The comedians were asked to to be the opening act, and they'd say, do 25 minutes and get off. Yes. So I had the great pleasure of working with Sinatra, of working with Frankie Lane, working with Nat King Cole, working with Paul Anka, working with Lena Horn. Wow. Uh, can you imagine, George? This is amazing. This is amazing. What a history, you know? Uh, and, and, uh, and, and you worked at the Copa. Yeah, uh, we were at the Copa Cabana several times. And the fact that, that the, we played the Copa, that was the beginning, and then we, they start using us on all the uh, shows. Yes, yes, and you did you did so Sullivan. He, they gave me the title, Marty Allen, Darling of Daytime Television. <laughs> I love that. And before that, you did Ed Sullivan. Yeah, oh, Ed Sullivan. We, we do it in the act, but I can do it for you. Sure. It's how many shows did you do on the Ed Sullivan? I said, I did more than Ed Sullivan. <laughs> he was very nice, and I'd meet him. After we did the show, he'd have dinner at Danny's Hideaway with his wife, and uh, I would come over, and uh, he'd say to me, all he'd say was, very good, Marty, and that's it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now, listen, Marty, one of the shows you did was with the Beatles. I remember that. Well, he said, I'm putting you on a very important show, so I'm saying an important show. We've been on uh, so many times. I why is this so important? Yes. Says, well, you're going to be on with the Beatles. And, and I remember watching you put a wig on. You ran up and down the audience. You were doing uh, one of the Beatles. It was Think very one good. One of the funniest things. I was. I, he says, "What are you going to say as an opener?" And I walked out. And I says, "Hello there. I'm Ringo's mother." <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love that. That is and, great. Uh, one of the great things, in fact, I think it's, uh, I don't know, it's, I may have put it in my book or not, but uh, the Beatles didn't know who we were, and I walked backstage and I see John Lennon, and he's warming up with a guitar. Yeah. I walked over to him, and he sees this guy with the wild hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, John, he said, yes. I said, a lot of people mistake me for you. <laughs> he collapsed. He actually collapsed. That's great. Um, <laughs> that is so great. And they start laughing. Well, Marty, you always had the... Uh, you were very nice. And yes. I knew right off the bat, I said to Steve, this is not just a group. This is this is a phenomenon. Yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. And those were great days. Ladies and gentlemen, George Bettinger chatting with Marty Allen, one of my heroes. And Marty is going to be at my good friend Bernie Fershband's Metropolitan Room, which oh. is 34 West 22nd Street, this coming Tuesday, October 18th at 7 p.m. And also on Thursday the 20th at 7 p.m. with his lovely wife, Karen Kate Blackwell. 
she's a brilliant singer. And then uh, when uh, I made her the straight lady, yeah, she she's just absolutely terrific. To be honest, she's like a female Dean Martin. <laughs> That's great. And I want everyone to jot this number down because it's very important to get tickets as soon as possible to see Marty and Karen. You're going to love it. You're going to thank me. The number is 212-206-0440. 212-206-0440. And tell Bernard Fershban that George Bettinger uh, mentioned it on his show, and you will absolutely thank me and love seeing Marty and his wonderful wife in person. Marty, let, let, let me let the, the ladies and gentlemen know that, you know, in addition to being a great comedian, you're also a bit of a hero. I know that during the Second World War, you received a medal. Is that true? Yeah, I got the Soldier's Medal for Bravery. Uh, what had happened is uh, they were uh, we were refueling uh, one of the planes. Yeah. And uh, when you uh, put gasoline in, they had a motor on the back of the uh, truck yes. that had 4,000 gallons of gasoline, and the motor caught on fire. Well, the two guys that were, were up on the wing refueling, they jumped off the wing, and they were on their way to the Vatican. Well, yeah. And I uh, I don't know whatever made me do it. I, I, I got in the truck. Pulled the hoses off the, well, they, they had let the hoses off the wing. Yeah. I pulled the uh, truck away and put the fire out in, in the motor and then went inside the plane to make sure that there was no uh, sparks or anything because it was loaded with bombs. Wow. And by that time, they came up with that snow, you know. Yeah. I walked out. They couldn't believe it. And, and when they saw what I had done, they, well, next thing I know, uh, they had an investigation and said that, uh, thank God the, the truck didn't explode. Yes. And yes. Uh, the fact that I had done what I did, they awarded me the medal, soldier's medal for, for bravery. Well, you deserved it. Maybe it was a little bit of like, you know, heavenly inspiration, divine inspiration. Well, you, it, something made you go and do it, and you did it, and that's that's uh, that's an amazing, monumental thing to do, you know? Uh, yeah, I, that's the way I just did it. You know, I had no... Come, but I'll tell you who gave me a lot of trouble. Who? My mother. She said, <laughs> I didn't send you to do that. <laughs> 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 That's great. I love that. You know, that makes oh, me... Did she give me hell. She gave... My mother gave me hell. Excuse the expression. My mother gave me hell. Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, we're chatting with the one and only amazing man, a, a, a person from a golden age of show business that I wish that age of show business would return because that's what our fans... So do I. It's not the way it used to be. No. They will love the idea of uh, how Karen and I have put the show together. There are many wonderful things. Uh, I talk about uh, friends of mine, Ernie Borgnine yes. uh, and uh, Richard Burton and mm -hmm. Elizabeth Taylor oh, and my Elvis. And uh, these are all people that were in my life. Yes. I, I've had a fantastic uh, career with personalities yes. in show business. And the people that I, like what you just said, George, uh, yes. I wish we still had them today. Well, I'll tell you this. I am very grateful that you were a part of that and that you're here because you're meant to be here and you're still performing and you're making people laugh and that's a gift that's a gift from from heaven you know and, and yes. you're and, and you're still doing it uh, god god has been very kind yes and think of all the people over the years that you have made smile all the people that you've put a smile on their face that's you can't what can are the wonderful thing george is some of the letters. I'm now getting a lot of mail from overseas, from wow. China, Poland. Yeah. You can't believe France, uh, England. I believe it. I believe it. it. Must be showing some of the old shows because 
they ask for a photograph. <laughs> so I'm so busy mailing uh, photos <laughs> out, you can't believe it. I believe it, Marty. Overseas. You know, uh, Marty, one of the things is that as time progresses, people are going to look more and more into the kind of show business that you did because it's, like I said, it's disappearing. They're going to look for the classic. And just like when you were a kid and you may have watched Charlie Chaplin or the Marx Brothers and said, I want to do that, that's what people are going to do with your film. That's very kind, George. It's very true. It's very true. George Burns and Jack Benny and Fred Allen. Yes. I mean, these are uh, wonderful days. And and the singers like Sinatra and Nat Cole and yes. Frank Lane and Joe Stafford and Patty Page. These are the fact that I was involved in this is a one wonderful gift. To be honest, Sinatra not only was brilliant as a singer and as an entertainer, but if you knew him in person, he was a wonderful, kind guy. Very generous, right? Uh, and when I look back and, and think of the different times that uh, I'd be in the dressing room and talking, and I'd say, my God, here I am with Sinatra, or here I am with Nat King Cole yes. in his dressing room. And they were warm, kind, you know, the big stars. They knew how to act. Yes, they did. Yes, they. Everybody had a respect. Oh, thing yeah. that it's it's all gone. I know. And Marty, let them know about how great this show that you're doing is going to be at the Met Room. They'll get a not only a bit of nostalgia, but they'll they'll see and hear wonderful things about some of the marvelous personalities. Well, I'll tell I you. Had in my career. I will tell you that the people who listen to us, and we're broadcast East Coast, West Coast, and worldwide on different syndicated networks, these are people who love the the days you're talking about and the type of show business that you love, and they will come to see you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Marty will be at the Metropolitan Room. I want to give the information out one more time. Uh, Marty Allen with his wife, Karen Kate Blackwell, on... Uh, Tuesday, October 18th, 7 p.m., and Thursday, the 20th at 7 p.m. Get your tickets by dialing Bernard First Band's Club at 212-206-0440. Bernie is a very good friend. He was at my induction at the Friars Club. And, Marty, you, you've just been delightful. Thank you so much. Well, George, it was so kind of you to call. Oh, uh, it's... I hope I get an opportunity to meet you. Yes, and I certainly look forward to meeting you, Marty, and Karen. And ladies and gentlemen, George Bettinger with you, with great information that Marty Allen and his beautiful wife, Karen Kate Blackwell, will be at the Metropolitan Room Tuesday, October 18th, and Thursday, October 20th at 7 p.m. The Metropolitan Room is one of the greatest cabarets that I've ever been to. It's 34 West 22nd Street in New York City. And the phone number to make your reservations is 212-206-0440. 212-206-0440. George Bettinger with you and more of the Mom and Pop Shop coming up next.